Hello everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to the channel. In today's video we are going to take a look on how to add um, to Firefox an extension uh, in order for us to block ads on uh, different websites, on uh, different pop-ups and even YouTube ads. Before we get started, a quick word from our sponsor today, CloudSwap. Uh, CloudSwap is a service that helps you copy files from one cloud provider to another. So let's uh, go ahead and run that segment and then we, uh, we can hear each other afterwards. And today's video is sponsored by CloudSwap. CloudSwap is an online service tool that can help you transfer files from one cloud provider to another. For example, if you have um, your files hosted on OneDrive and you wish to switch to Google Drive, that's no problem. It's all done in three easy steps. You need to select the folders and files that you wish to transfer and then choose the destination where you want them to be copied. And that's it. You simply click start and then your files will be copied to the new cloud provider. Uh, for more information, please check the link in the description below and uh, register for free and start uh, migrating uh, or transferring your files. Perfect. Now let's get started. In order for us to uh, add the extension to Firefox, first we need to open Firefox, of course. I don't have Firefox as my primary browser yet, so I'm just going to keep it that way for, for the purpose of this video. And what you want to do, actually this is like a fresh install on uh, of Firefox usually after I install a browser the first thing I add it's an extension for add, uh, to, to, to block ads um, on Firefox what you want to do is click on this um, uh, sandwich menu I think it's called um, or hamburger menu <laughs> uh, these three lines over here click on it on the top right hand side and what you want to search for is um, add-ons and themes. Click on this. On the extension uh, section, what you want to do is go ahead and just write exactly what you want to achieve. In our case, we want to block or let's search add blocker and click enter. And this will redirect you to the uh, addons.mozilla.org website. And you have uh, the resource for our keywords here at Blocker. And you can see there are a ton of options here, really a ton of options. And that's good because now we have from where to where to choose. And what I want you to, to look uh, at is first look at the um, uh, the rating so for example this one has a 4.8 out of 5 star rating and also have a look uh, on this number here these are the number of users that uh, installed this um, uh, this extension right and of course what uh, you can also do is click on it and click on reviews and now you can check other reviews from other people that are using uh, the extension I and mean, of course you can filter the review so for example if i want to see okay let's see why 174 people uh, give it a four uh, a three uh, out of five star rating you can see here that somebody says it doesn't remove youtube player embedded ads which is the main reason for me um, for him using ad blockers now, uh, for the sake of this video, I will uh, give you uh, my recommendation. I've, I've been using this extension for, I think, more than uh, five years now. It's an amazing, lightweight extension. And if you scroll down, for some reason, it's not on the first page. Let's look at the second page. There you go. This is my go-to ad blocker for all the browsers that I'm using. Uh, it's called Adblock Plus. As you can see here, uh, a whopping almost 6 million people are using it and it has a rating uh, 4 out of 5 stars, uh, 4.5 stars out of 5. Uh, and of course, 
you can uh, check again the reviews for it um love this add-on it works really well easy to use <laughs> keep him uh, or her uh, from seeing annoying pop-ups good um now in order for you to add this to firefox you have to click on the add to firefox button here it will give you an uh, a pop-up with a small uh, small bullet points on what the extension does and it gives you like a heads up hey if you install this extension it will have access uh, to your data for all websites display notification to you access the browser tabs like we have here or access the browser's activity during navigation and if you think of it that's normal in order for an extension to um to block ads it has to crawl that website that you're looking at and determine if okay what you're seeing it's an ad or an actual content that you want to see right and i'm okay with this i'm going to click on add and again you get this little pop-up here hey ad blocker plus free ad blocker was added and you can click on okay you will have it here displayed on the top bar and of course uh, they have the honor system so you can go ahead and donate if you really like uh, the um, the extension i have no affiliation with this extension i just personally use it i like it very much uh, you can also um, give it um, give us a donation here if you wish not mandatory you can leave it like this okay let's close it and for the sake of this video let's let's uh, go to a popular um, website i don't know maybe cnn Com. And right, right away you see an, uh, a few numbers starting to, uh, to, to pop up here, right? Um, and if you click on it, you will see that a, this extension blocked five items on, on CNN.com, on this specific uh, web page. Now, there are, some, um, there are some websites that have... Uh, that don't let you see any content until you, you remove or whitelist um, that specific website uh, on your um, ad blocker extension. And what you can do in this example, so if you want to see all the ads and if you want to access that specific website, you can disable the extensions by toggling this uh, button here and just click on refresh. So it will refresh the page. And now the extension is grayed out. That means that, hey, I'm not blocking any any items on this page. And there you go. You can now visit the website with, um, with the extension disabled. And if you want to enable it again, just very easy, click on the toggle again, click refresh and you're good to go. Perfect. Um, so, that's it. Very simple way of uh, adding an ad blocker to your Mozilla Firefox uh, browser. If you uh, uh, like this content, please make sure you give me a thumbs up. That really helps the channel, really helps this video. If you like the overall content uh, with this type of tips and tricks on, um, on anything related to IT, Windows machine or uh, Mac OS uh, devices, Please make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching talk to you in the next one bye